Everyone in retail talks about autonomous stores. But what are they? What makes them unique? And what is the best model? Let's find out and look at some research. Autonomous stores are stores that can support and monitor customers without human presence. That doesn't necessarily mean there is no staff at the store. But customers can enter the store, do their shopping, and check out automatically without interacting with any staff. Customers in these types of stores have an autonomous customer journey and interact with technology rather than staff. Autonomous stores, when compared to traditional staffed stores, have four unique features. First, in autonomous stores, customers usually need to identify themselves to start their shopping trip. When shoppers enter the store, they will be prompted to check in using their credit card or through the retailer's app. In staffed stores, no identification is required to enter. Second, in autonomous stores, customers usually receive customer service support via technology. This could be via phone or in-store terminals connecting shoppers to remote staff. In staffed stores, customers interact with a person rather than technology. Third, in autonomous stores, the checkout process is also technology-enabled. Customers can either self-checkout via self-scanning terminals in a checkout area, scan products with their device as they walk through the store, or have a fully automated checkout experience where cameras track what shoppers buy so that customers can walk out. In staffed stores, customers must interact with a person during checkout. Fourth, in autonomous stores, customers can often only verify that the receipt is correct after making a payment. This can happen after leaving the store, but sometimes it takes hours after making a payment to finally get their receipt. In staffed stores, customers can review their receipt before making a payment. So, what do customers prefer? Recent research shows that customer habits are sticky. They still prefer staffed stores in most cases. However, that might change in the future because consumers are becoming more tech-savvy and retailers are learning to adapt their operating models. The one area where autonomous stores perform as well as traditional stores is the checkout process. Interestingly, all checkout options, staffed or autonomous, are perceived as equally good. Let's look into other features to see what barriers are affecting autonomous stores. Having to check in to the store is an important barrier to shoppers. If they have to, checking in with a provider app is preferred to a credit card. Even though the credit card option increases the feeling of autonomy, checking in using a retailer app feels safer. Perhaps unsurprisingly, having virtual staff is not preferred. It is the less convenient and safe option. Whether they receive remote staff support via phone or video terminal does not matter much to consumers. So retailers do not need to invest in expensive technology when a phone line is fine too. The strongest barrier is not being able to verify the basket before payment. Consumers feel vulnerable and insecure when they cannot do a final check of what ended up on the receipt before they pay. What do these results imply for retailers? 1. Retailers should consider the barriers when deciding about autonomous stores. 2. Because today's consumers still prefer staffed stores, if retailers wish to invest in autonomous stores, standalone locations will likely be the better choice. These could be locations in the countryside, at petrol stations, or in hospitals. So the autonomous store is not directly compared to a more sought after staffed store. Three, retailers have leeway in choosing technology options, particularly for checkout, where all options performed equally well. This is good to know for retailers, since the camera technology to capture baskets automatically is still very expensive, and many retailers already have self-checkout terminals. Four, with more and more self-service in retail stores, most retailers are gradually moving towards autonomous stores anyway. Retailers should see their transition to autonomous stores as a continuum, where some parts of the store may be autonomous, while others are not. Physical stores do not need to be strictly autonomous or staffed. If you want to find out details about this research, check out this publication.